Hello everyone and welcome to Season of Watch. Today we're watching Shinobi no Itoki, episode 11. Now we're reaching the end of the series, so we're gonna be looking to other, well, other series we're gonna be reacting to next season. If you want to have a say in that, just join this board, link down below, and we can talk in Anime Suggestion channel. Still looking it up since there's still some time till then, but hey, you can always make a difference. Now, let's talk about the previous episode. So, what happened then? We had the whole... I'm trying to remember exactly what happened here. Because it's kind of mixed. Uh, last episode, we had them accepting, accepting Yumika, Yumika's death. Some people were very angry and wanted to get revenge against Akoga for that. So we're just gonna be repeating that cycle of hatred, which turns out it's not even a cycle. It's just um, the current leader. Um putting the blame on the Iga clan for something that he did. He killed his own brother because he was not accepting his path of peace and everything. The leader that I forgot his name is one that should be like, yeah, we're gonna end all ninjas because I'm gonna be the only one left. Me and those robot ninjas because I'm gonna be a god, basically. So he killed his brother, and Suzaku finally saw that. So maybe now he's not gonna be part of this next assault. Because he was desolated about his father's death, but he was still gonna participate in the attack because that's the only thing he had left, as he put it. Like, he showed up in Yumka's funeral, too, and was very solemn. But when talking to Itoki, Itoki got really mad at him and he revealed that his father was killed and everything, yet he's still doing it. So now that he knows, maybe he's not going to participate. Maybe he's going to help us out. Who knows? Meanwhile, we had the whole thing with Kotetsu that she was desperate because as far as she knows, she killed Yumika. And she was talking with Itoki and Tokisara. And he was explaining how he knows her skills. So if it really was her in control of the body, her uh, the damage would have been different. So to... this is proof that she was not the one that, that did the final that did the blow. And he also learned a couple things. One, he knew this for a while, since she was little, since she was adopted, that she's the daughter of the current leader of the code club. Because he just got a kids with a bunch of women, made the kids orphan, and sent them to the different clans with a microchip in their brain to be sleeper agents in the future, which was what happened with Kotetsu. And she was kind of infuriated how he knew that yet you done nothing about it like should have abandoned her or killed her so yeah not only was she desolated about the death of her mother her adoptive mother she learned her actual father was the enemy great news so yeah I think Oh, and there's also the fact that all the other clans are being attacked, including Kide's father. So, maybe they're gonna be coming in to help out. Who's to say? Because Koga clan's gonna be on another attack, and I'm guessing that's what these last two episodes are about? I think it's 12, not 13. Eh. A reminder, this is a time reaction. Which means you sync up your own version with mine, and we'll watch it together. I'll try to add some scenes here and there, but don't expect too much. And with that being said, let's get started. Three, two, 
One. Go. Oh, they're having another eager meeting. With the Tokyo all dressed up. Oh yeah, there's also that letter of basically just give up and don't fight back. Mm. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Yeah, they'll just say yes, but then gonna kill you in the back. Right? That's what I'm saying. I don't believe it. Okay. Okay, yeah. Present to me. Yeah, see, they want the vengeance or so. Oh. I mean, he is making big decisions. But yeah, like, hey, if you want to still go after Avengers for Yumika, I'll just take you out of the Inga clan and you can go do that. Because we're not having officially fighting back. Reconciliation. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they're not even trying to hide anymore. <laughs> so because there are no witness left, there's no evidence. Like, I'm not so sure about that part. I get what he's going for, but... Yeah, because you guys done so great so far. Right? Basically, the only clans left are going to be Koga and Iga. But... Oh, you know they will do that. Good luck with that, because your guys are not succeeding. Yeah, so they would obtain what they want, but they won't be able to use it. What's the point? Oh, now you're, you're following them, huh? 
and then you're going to figure out what to do. Look at that. Yeah, Beza, like, yeah, we'll comply. Oh, look, we used military. Too bad, now you can't stop it because it's complete. Yeah. Now, what do you have in mind, Itoki? True. I mean, at the end, at least she was putting a hold on that guy, at least trying to. Oh, and we're not hearing you. Look how the look how Saiga is the Saiga factory. And wasn't she was oh the underground? Sriyoko working underground, still trying to maintain the Saiga. Yeah, there she is. She's so focused. Yeah. Oh yeah, because things are happening. So you have to do things quickly. You need to construction and maintenance. She's still. Mm -hmm. uh. Wow. That is. Such a sad way to look at things. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, the way he trained you up. <laughs> yep, she's revealing to her. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, see, she feels, she feels sorry and feels how much she hurt them. Not sure how much was involved Yumka itself, more of the attack. But yeah. Yeah, the past never dies. It's always there. You just need to... Make up for it over time, I guess. <laughs> yeah, let's see. It's not true. <laughs> C 
see, I like that Ryoko is seeing the present Kirei. Not looking at the past Kirei, but looking at what she's doing right now. I wonder if there's any other Saiga members left other than Ryoko and her dad. Oh, Suzaku? Yeah, Kido, that's the name. He's revealing it? Why is he? Hmm. Yeah, that's. I. What is Suzaku up to? Because. The way he looked up to Kishimaru, and now he knows the true killer, so... What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh. That's what they're going with, huh? He's... I get the idea, but you still need a leader. But yeah, like it took it actually very calmly. He's not like a child panicking by suddenly being put in a leader position. And looks like they're gonna accept the explosion to go after the Cobra Clan. Yeah. Look at that. These are the people he was sending to get the file from you so that you and then you join the other squad. I saw the gauntlet thing that was, was creating the fire. She's gonna. Yeah, this is something very big that feels like it has to be said in person. But she's still gonna send it as a message. Oh. Of course, of course, the demi got new. Of course. Yeah, like I said, she did help with the war. True. True. Yeah, what is going on with Tokyo right now? 
I guess he's fighting the ego people. And the political sense. And there's Kotet. Sending a message. Or an item, maybe? Hey, yeah, the somber setting where all of them are just. No, don't, don't. Why do Japan has this habit of cutting long hair short? I get it's like to represent like a new life, you're taking a new path in life, and a new you, but like... It just ruins their hair. Oh, so... He's gonna go in to fight off... Fight off Joki? Yeah, he's gonna take the corn. Yeah, could be that. How do you? How do you know this now? Okay. Yeah. His his spy is as a hostage. That it's being used for blackmail, huh? But who the spy is? Her. Because she's doing this for the COVID plan. Okay. The way he's saying, I can't believe it was you, so he, he expected it was a spy for the code plan. And maybe that's why he he did this whole thing. I see. Yeah, I was finding it weird because Kozo was on his side in the beginning. Yeah, he then he was with the others about the Kupata and the Spotion. Yeah, there was the whole thing with the husband. She was always there to be with you. So you chose death. Literally. I was just... I did not expect that. <laughs> like... But see, Itoki is making move as a leader. うん。高画投資の目的は以外の復讐でも高画の力を強めて忍者を支配することでもないのかもしれない。須坂と話して、そう思ったんだ。幹部であるバン・ホーセンを殺害したことも上級を意識している。詳しく調べます。ありがとう
There won't be any Nidra left. Look at his suit, though. Yeah, there's the there's the video. Okay, so he's gonna go solo after after giving that video. He's flying solo. Ooh, we're preparing for that finale. Tokusato is a great at investigating, by the way. So he's gonna... Yeah. He's gonna go in when they're being attacked. Susako's probably gonna be doing the same thing. He's gonna use the secret ninja form. Oh, okay. This music. And what's the fall? There it is. Okay. Look at that. Look at that ninja gear. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. This smear on it. Yeah. Take care of Fika. He's ex fully expecting to die here, there. No, the whole plan was for you guys to protect the village while he's gone. The resolve to protect Ika. What's the way one order? Instead of running, we'll fight. Yeah. yeah. The three of them are going. And good to see that Kotetsu is in a state that she can go. The final fight. And we also. You know what? No, hold on. No, so that was absolute. Now, I'm trying to see what extent I can talk about here. For sure, we can talk about Itoki. Like, he was acting very serious as a Iga clan leader. Not a kid that was so suddenly put in, in a high position. But this episode, he was being very serious, very focused. Um, and he showed, like, quite a bit of strategy there, like, even against his own people. So, apparently we had another traitor working for the Koga plan, and he realized that, so, I thought that, oh, maybe when Kotetsu fell, it wasn't that... The guy still had control over her body and the stabbed, but she got stabbed in the back or something like that. Maybe that's what happened, which explains like how it was another traitor that killed her and everything. It was her that was working with Itoki since the very beginning, like Yumka even showing him the compassion and everything to stand there by her side through that painful situation and like 
Sometimes people die. You can't really do anything about that, but try to understand and help out. Even when it happened to them. How Toki Sasato was there and everything. I remember that. And yet, she was betraying them for that. But Itoki actually had the vision to have the whole talk like, Hey, you want to still go after revenge? Fine, I will expel you and you're no longer Iga and you can go. But I'm not changing my opinion. I'm, as the leader of the clan, I'm making this deal so that there will be no fight between us. It was all to delay so that he can figure out who the traitor was. And turns out he got, um, Kozo, I think was his name, to help out. Because he really was on his side. Which was kind of weird how he started being along with the people with the coup d'etat and trying to get him to step down and everything. But yeah, it was all an act. Dangerous are actor too. So he he got her and they saw the message that he took he was leaving behind. That he was planning to go on a suicide mission while they were being attacked. It would be Itoki, Tokusada, and Kotetsu. Now, Itoki from the beginning, he has been increasing his blade since his heart was already at high level for a shinobi. So he has been working on his blade. He's no Kotetsu Tokusada, but he's getting good. And we have Kotetsu Tokusada with him because they also trust him. They're all for the Iga and Yumika and everything. So yeah, they all have a similar view right now. Good to see that Kotetsu is doing okay. She's put her feelings out there last time and now she's being able to rationalize and participate. イガ秘伝人格を交互に渡します。それを条件に。イガの自治を認めてもらうことにします。私の決定に従えないのなら、イガを去ってください。連番上から名前を消し、破門処分とします。何を言っておられるのですか私もできればこのようなことはしたくあり
your main reason, like your lives, still keeping that in mind. Then we have the whole situation with Ryoko and Kide. So Ryoko was still working in the underground of the Saiga factory, still trying to keep things alive, even though she's breaking because she's doing that all by herself for herself. Like there's no one, as she was putting, she's just like the tools without a wielder. So, hey, maybe a negotiation with the Ega clan. Then again, there's also the whole message with the owl. There's a little satchel. So maybe she's sending something to Toki there. And he's gonna be able to use that in the infiltration. It's gonna help out. Hopefully. Hopefully that's where we're going. And we had with that we also had Kide revealing what she was doing. How she revealed to Ryoko about the betrayal. Yet she's also commenting about her father dying and how he raised her to betray and everything. And good thing that Ryoko was looking at present Kide. Wasn't too worried about what she was doing in the past, but seeing how she chose to change now. So that's a good way to look at things. She went to try to also tell Itoki about this, but he was having some big ego situation. So Tokisado would, was the one that was going to send the message, even though Tokisado already knew about her betrayal, yet let her know that she had nothing to do with the Yumika situation, it was somebody else. And she did have to do with the war. However, she also helped out to end that fight. So he just calls it even. You're free. You're like, we're, we don't worry about you. So, in a way, I kind of feel a little bit annoyed that there's not much consequence to her action. Granted, like, there was the whole attack that happened, but to her, itself other than the pain of betraying those of betraying those that are close to you but at the same time good to see that they're all moving on and letting her grow and be close to them now that she's being truthful そうだね。私はそんなに強く。彼が。私一人では。私一人では。でも全然悲しくなかった。大嫌いだった。先生した。それで<笑> でも、綺麗さん、私の大切なお友達です。聞いてた。お父様の話も。ルーマの務めも。今、流している涙も。全部嘘なんですか私は。そう、信じています。<笑> Like, there's a whole thing with the Koga clan, which are not listening to the national ninja security stuff, which I've never remembered the name, even though they mentioned it this episode. But yeah, they were just doing their own thing, like, uh, we'll hold on on that answer about the treaty, just, 
we'll just do one thing real quick, then we'll we'll give you an answer. Yeah, nobody's expecting them to hold their word of peace treaty. Nobody's expecting that. Uh, but they're supposed to be working on keeping them under control so that they won't use the ninja core for military purposes. Which, good luck with that if it ever comes to that. Meanwhile, we had Suzaku. So, it did seem a bit confusing how he revealed to Kido, I think that's his name, about the file with the video. And he was saying like, I'll deliver it to you. So he was, I'll send some people to you to get it and you can join one of the squads. Mm-hmm, sure. Send somebody to get the, the, the video, the video file. Mm -hmm. Definitely not going to get rid of Suzaku or anything for having watched that. Because he does not want any loose pieces. But Suzaku was very capable as we saw that. He gave Kotetsu a run for her money. Like, from what we've seen at the Academy, it was Suzaku and then Kotatsu. She was right under him, but he was still above her in skill. So he stopped all those that were attacking and even threatened to like, no, no, it's okay, we're just gonna be going after him, he's gone. And also reveal when the attack's gonna happen. Now, he did give the video to Tokisara. So, and since Itoki and the others are leaving, I might just assume that he also revealed when the attack was gonna happen. But yeah, he just, here, you can have this, you will have all the information you need, I'm doing this on my own, so, see ya! Even though it feels like Itoki and Suzaka are gonna meet up Ido at the end there. Because they're, I feel like they're both going after him. Suzaku is actually going for the vengeance for Kishimaru now. Now that he knows that um, Kido was the one to kill him. And they took is trying to stop the this whole situation, so... We're gonna have a quite a pickle, quite a situation in our hands when the three of them meet up. But yeah, I think there's all there is to say about this, so... With that being said, see you next time. Bye!